Hello, hello, and welcome back to Uncut with KJH, an unedited video series where you get to see the good, the bad, and everything in between. And I am actually gonna do something a bit different today. I'm wearing this makeup look, this golden sort of bright eye, lots of mascara, a little bit of blush, a little bit of contouring. I'm gonna do three different lip options to wear with this gold eye. So if you wanna wear a gold eye, but maybe you don't wanna wear a nude, I'm gonna show you a red and I'm gonna show you a berry, but I'm also gonna show you a nude. About lip prep, I would always, always, always start my lips balanced, neutral, but not super balmy and wet. However, if they are balmy and like really hydrated, they're gonna shear down any color that I apply on top by at least 50%. So that's just something good to know before you start. It's like, if your lips are really, really sort of juicy, it's gonna shear down a matte lipstick by at least 50%. It might make that matte lipstick what, exactly what you want. So if that's what you're going for, it's not wrong. It's just something to know. I'm gonna start with a nude option. This is Sweet Disposition from NARS. This is a matte color. So I'm just first gonna start without any balm because my lips don't feel dry. They don't feel tight. Kind of just wanna see what this does by itself. And I'm gonna shear it down with my fingertip. So any color that you apply on your mouth is gonna look more flattering to you when you can see a little bit of your natural color coming through from the lip area. Or if you build that back in with lip liners and so on and so forth. Sometimes the harder it is, the more opaque the color, the harder it is to pull off the color. It doesn't make it wrong if you do wear it opaque. If it's perfect for you and you love it, that's all that matters. So a little bit of that Sweet Disposition shade, a little bit of Endless Cacao for like my kind of 90s, Supermodel, full kind of pout, not too much. I don't want it to be too dramatic. Just kind of like that. And then I would probably do a little brush, like a small smudgy brush, and just blend it in. And then I would either leave it like that or I would put a balm on top. I'm just gonna use the balm stick from Ciate. This one came in Robert Welsh's kit. He's so, so talented. Just gonna pop this on to give it some sheer sort of transparency from the gloss, the shine from it even. You see a little bit of shine that it has. So that's my lip option one. And then essentially when you do put balm on, you are taking it off as you're applying it. So you can go back in if you feel like it with a touch more of the color that you wanna use. And that's kind of how I would wear a nude lip for this look. Because this is on top of KGH, I'm literally just gonna tissue it off with a little towel that I have on my table. So here, that's look number one. Also, when I'm switching shades between looks, I don't rub very hard. If you do, you're actually gonna make the lip quite red in the process, and you're gonna bring a lot of the blood forward to the surface of the mouth, making the lip appear not to its natural state. Be quite delicate if you can. This just had a little bit of my concealer left behind. My next color is gonna be a bright red. I'm not gonna go for my berry next. I'm gonna do berry at the end because it's I'm weaning myself, I'm like building up to that. Rouge Dior lipstick in 999. True, true red, giving a little bit McDonald's vibes with the red lip and the um, yellow eye, but I'm actually not mad at it. It's kind of a little bit vintage. It's got like a, it's got like a cool kind of theme going on. I'm gonna do the same thing. Just start with a little and just apply it and see where we are. I like a little brush to blend in my lip color. So I'm actually just gonna use this. I'm just gonna get rid of that touch of brown from the tip of the brush into my towel and just start to move it around. And the benefit of doing lipstick this way is it actually wears for a lot, a lot longer because you're like using thin, thin layers to build up to the final effect and creating like almost a primed layer I don't really use lip scrubs particularly or anything so specific for prep. I kind of just make sure there's no flakes either with a towel, literally when you wash your face, if you use like a little flannel, helps to get rid of the flakes. Uh, and I always, 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 always sleep in lip balm without fail. So applying more and then blending it. Also, if you turn the brush on, it's that angle, you're gonna get a wider blend. If you turn it that way, you're gonna get a narrower blend. So depending on what brush you're using, will actually determine what shape you get. If you don't have a lip liner, you can use the bullet of the lipstick to create the shape that you like. And I like to keep, I like to keep my lips quite full in the top and the bottom, not so much wide at the sides, because I just like 
that look. It's a bit more youthful, I find. So I tend to exaggerate the cupid's bow and right beneath the lower lip. And I always go to the center of the lip first and gradually go toward the edges. If you go toward the edges immediately, you're probably doing it because you apply your lipstick like that every day. But it's a really good way to apply in the center first and gradually just stretch it further because it's much easier to take product further out than it is to try and pull it back in. It's the same ethos as like you start with a little and apply more if you need more. And then just using the bullet of the lip liner as a lip liner even. And then kind of just And also if you look down, it gives you a different angle on the lip. But I actually love this. I did a look like this years ago, where it was red and yellow. Because the eyes appear more gold next to the yellow. More, the, the eyes appear more yellow next to the gold. Next to the red. Oh my god. You know what I meant. Alright. So I'm not mad at that. I like the kind of slightly soft edged lip always. I think it's kind of chic. And then it's easier to sort of touch up with throughout the day. And also if you do want to keep building more and more thin layers, just keep doing this. Or on a tissue, just get rid of the first few layers and then just keep packing more, more of it on. Because the, the, you're lifting off the moisture with this tip and you're taking a little bit of color with it. But then when you're applying more of the pigment, the pigment is going to stay longer in a way. You can also use a tissue, but I mean, I can wash my hand and not waste a tissue. So that would be look number two. And I might use, I could also use my Endless Cacao in this if I wanted to, just to create shadow here. And the same here. And that's it. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this one off again. This towel's wet, uh, this towel is not wet, it's just dry. This one might need a little bit more sort of finessing to come off. So I'm actually gonna kind of hold it and then pull it off. This is not really education. This is just me showing you if you're changing lip colors quickly at home. <laughs> what to do. You just don't wanna get it on the skin, right? Okay, so because I'm applying a berry, I'm not really gonna change. I'm not gonna mess with this too much. I'm just gonna go straight over the top. I might just get rid of those sides though. All right, the next one is Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet in Mysterious number 72. And I'm gonna just get this right in the mix. And apply it. I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm just gonna get rid of the extra. This is the KJH number 12. So I'm sure you wanted to know before I even said it. This is just stained and it might stay like that for a while. That's fine. It doesn't really bother me. It's just a, um, just, just gives your brushes personality. But when you wash it with soap and water or all like whatever brush soap, it should come out most of it. But if it doesn't, it gives your brushes personality. All right. So these are a different kind of texture. These are like moussey, the Chanel one. It's actually shearing down quite pink, but I actually really like it. I think I'm gonna not apply more of the lipstick just yet. I'm gonna apply lip liner. This is Travis from Mario. It's like a brown. And just sort of do a little bit of contrast at the edges. And then see where we are. I don't want to just get too Christmassy because Christmas is past. All right. Try and relax your mouth as much as possible when you're putting on lipstick. I found myself just doing it. That's why I was bringing it up. I found myself kind of doing this. And if you start making funny shapes with your mouth, just because you like feel like you're going that way, it actually might make you draw your lip shape on a bit wonky. So just keep it still. So when I do people's eyebrows, I want them to not do this or make their eyebrow photo face. I need them to keep it still and relaxed. I actually really like this combo. It's very, very, very nice. So I'm gonna apply more of this now. Don't fall, thank you, Travis. 
and just see where we are. Mm. Yeah, love it. If I wanted to go one step darker, because I'm in that kind of mood today. Where is it? Where is it? I had a black lipstick on my desk a short while ago. I don't know where the one is that I wanted to use. So in the meantime, I'm going to use this. This is a black liquid matte called Caviar from MAC. I'm actually just going to take a little here and a little there. I'm going to use that pigment to make this color darker. And it's just going to add it a little bit more depth. Do you see? And I'm going to spread it into the entire thing. So it's like I've created a mixing medium on my lip. There's that little hint of black. And I could do the same with white or yellow or, or a brighter red. Mario's lip palette is cool for that reason because it's got all those colors in it that get, give you playful options. This is leaning a little more Tisha Adams now, but I'm not mad at it. It's just good to know how to do this kind of thing. I'm using this side of the brush for the width of my lip, the edge of the brush for the edges. <clears throat> All righty. Just want to make sure to blend it in. Little trees. Okay. Don't overly blend because if you sometimes blend, I can tell that with this texture and everything, if I overly rub or pull, it might come off. And just for seamlessness, I'm going to go back in with this. Mysterious, just to bring back that berry color over the black. So that it's nice because it's allowed for it to get deeper. And there you actually have four lip colors on pairing, perfect pairings with a gold eye. Let me know if you want to see more from this series and do let me know if you have any questions. All the comments will be, all the products will be listed in the comment section below or the the description box below there is also a link there actually for any other creators out there that a uh, that are interested in joining an affiliate network called shop my it's the one i'm part of i love it so much um the team over there is super super helpful and it allows for me to conveniently link all of the products that i use and talk about for my community to be able to go to and check out if they forgot what it was one day and then you can even even purchase through those links um an affiliate link does offer some sort of small revenue share for the creator anyway Thanks for watching and I'll see you in a bit. I thought this was gonna be like a five minute video, but it ended up being like 13. Lots of love, bye.